Quinn a lefty. We'll see who's in charge of these honors. It's Quinn who's on it. It's a good free kick, and there's a diving save from McGuire. Somehow hangs on to it in one motion. And Jake, another foul on Tyler Pollock on the outside, but we'll take a look at this free kick from Quinn. Extremely well struck. Just the bend that he put on it, the way it whips around, but that extension there by McGuire. Kept alive by Bezicourt. Bezicourt gets one away, and it puts McLaughlin to his left. McLaughlin calling for it. Jimmy McLaughlin with it on his foot, and a huge save by Jake McGuire. As Jimmy McLaughlin himself, a lot of room for him on the left-hand side. Pedro Gaval steps to the inside with the right foot, save! Great save that time by McGuire. Return shot is blocked. McGuire is over to it, and keeps this game three to two. Still about 40 seconds or so of stoppage time left. Ball headed by Penn FC back into the best. Espanol on the La Liga side. Lee got a piece of that. Troyer! Oh, and a spectacular save by McGuire. Zizo again with the big right, headed back, punch and clear. Good driven ball in, loose in front, what a save from McGuire. The leadership by example, knowing that this is a high pressing team, certainly showing that. Header from below, it's saved off the crossbar, second chance. Herzog catches up to this one and boots it forward, it's flicked away. Dot selectsportamerica.com for C free shipping orders over $50. Whoa. That one with a lot of water splashed on the ball. It's a bad mistake. A diving save. Jake McGuire with an incredible Johnny on the side. Andrew Dykes, who was just starting his career at that moment, as Calvert slipped in. Caleb Calvert on the first time, and Jake McGuire. Right in front of his own goal. Another it's it's just and a turnover. Herzog tries to windmill at home, and it's saved. That's shit. The whole play with that clearance from Escobar to him. He holds the ball up. He switches. Play it back. Herzog read that one on the breakaway as that ball again from Roberts. Wasn't able to get wide enough and holding his ground. Thirty-three or lower, they play for the Union. Fifty or above, Braun Finished. has an opportunity. Can't slide it past Lewis. Rebound, still is loose. Championships. So Atlanta United two might fall short. Moses coming after this. McGuire gets knocked up high. He came out. it forward. Guerra, lovely soft touch, and slips it into the gap for Woodbine, who's around the last defender. The keeper off his line. The flag is up. It. On the ball now, Etienne Jr. looking for the quick ball into the feet of White. Jake McGuire's out, he gets a touch to it. Can't pick it up. I think he missed that opportunity. I'm not gonna say it's an opportunity. Through ball in for Jones. Jones taking out the ball by McGuire. Fury in possession now, it's Howarth with a good ball on the left and oh, just about. Found his man, Adonai Jareed, at the back post. And that was very close, and Jake McGuire with some good goalkeeping there as Obasi wins the ball. But they get another chance, so it worked out. Quinn floats it towards the back post, and McGuire yet again with sure hands and able to make the play. Kerr on top of the corner. McGuire off of his line, bobbles it for a moment, but eventually able to hang on. Good goalkeeping. Come. Corner kick driven in. McGuire is there though, and he'll fall down to the ground. He knew he would. That's what you need out of your goalkeeper. Sure hand. So Guerra, Mueller. Portillo with the delivery. Swings it to the back and it's punched away. Clawed away there by McGuire. Good goalkeeping. And they survive the pressure from the This one even. McGuire punches it, and a good job with the left hand, and there may have been contact in there as well. Yeah. Corner kick also brought to you by the Levy Law Offices, where they turn your crash into cash. McLaughlin on the cross. Koenig went for it. 
didn't quite get there. Because it was the last defender. I mean, we could talk about it until we're blue in the face, but at the end of the day, it is 2-0. Bethlehem is McGuire off his line again, and he has been extremely confident, not only with his shot-stopping ability, but his ability to come get the ball. Level with New York Red Bulls, two on 38 points. McGuire off of his line and able to claim it. That just takes the problem from the situation away completely when Maguire comes out and just dictates proceedings. Number five, not number 45. Time running out on Cincinnati to try to steal a point here. And coming way off the line, smart play by Jake Maguire. He hasn't, he hasn't had as much work to do. is still right in the thick of it in the last. This ball lobbed for Maguire. This is just able to delay him for a moment. Banjo back towards the far post, and Maguire off of his line. As you mentioned, Gary, he's going to have to play that sweeper-keeper role for the remaining 35 minutes or so. Lomas over to Becker. Becker knew Deleuze was going to be there. Just turned and put it into space. Deleuze looping left foot, handled by Maguire. Maguire is out Higashi good ball into the box he finds Thomas Maguire comes forward and punches and still Del Piccolo looking Jimenez it's knocked away by Maguire Johnson it's not a bad one keeps it in play to the cross like Jeffrey threat that Ferris has Escobar and Endom have to be aware at all times. McGuire out there to pick that one up. McGuire. A lot of a lot of their dangerous chances came through him or off his crosses. So Interesting sub there, of course, maybe he, you know, came into the match with a feeling something or was on that PK that got past him. And you start to wonder how this game is going to finish up, especially because Toronto now playing with 10 men. Ahead for Burke once more. Burke makes it. You're not exactly pleased with that decision. Well, not when you've got Charlie Raymond there, just a 10 yard pass away who then feeds Santimoa and puts you on attack rather than go back. Burke, still on top of it, goes for Ooh. goal. Oh, it's an amazing finish. Corey Burke, two on the afternoon. Wire with good, good distribution. Strike, yes. We play on natural grass at home in Bethlehem. And they play it on a wet Wednesday afternoon. Thick grass and ball didn't exactly roll too much in that game on Wednesday. Quite they gave the kickers back to back midweek games. And then two straight on the road. Natural grass holds up really well over the course of the summer months where Bethlehem is the primary tenant. But uh, well, rain doesn't really care one way or the other. Bethlehem pushing into the attack, and this is. McGuire. This one over the head of the. Intended Fury target, it comes back to the keeper, McGuire for Bethlehem. And he'll play it ahead on the left for Moar. Nerve-wracking millisecond when you've shaken free and you know it's just you and the goalie. No, that's the best part. <laughs> I thought you were going to say if, as a defender, that's the worst part when you slip in the box and you see the player with the ball at their feet shooting at your goal. But that's the best. Bellani 
is also another weapon to come late. And I like him even if you're up one nothing because, well, he can take the ball and make long. The top, they can open up a defense, a defense that's settled. And this is a player in the gem who people are still wondering what type of player he is at the high, highest level. That He's, was a little dangerous there. McGuire forced to trap it with his foot. And if he somehow had missed that, that could have been very, very dangerous. And that's what we were talking Soccer Park, Coach Wolinek won both the regular season title and the USL Championship, the second year of this franchise now in his third year. Yeah, you talk about the personality and temperament that's perfect for an MLS squad that has a, a USL component. You want to go at it. You want to really uh, exploit it, and they just haven't done it. And, and to me, what's interesting is we really haven't seen Burke called offside because of speed, maybe because... Aaron Jones, here comes the uh, pesky Herzog, keeping some pressure on Bethlehem here in the back. See Jones, you'll see Herbers for the Union tonight. Without them for Bethlehem Steel available tonight, this has been a formidable offensive effort for them. A lot of it starting with Moar, but we've also seen in the second half it expand a bit. We've seen a lot of Chambers get involved in the attack. We have seen Apodaca get involved in the attack. Coming on for Jamal Jack. So Dave Brand obviously not happy with Jack's performance in the first half. Kate Banjo giving Bethlehem all that they can handle. McGuire well off of his line to clear that away. 